Terminator, Trump hit Vladimir Putin seconds ago in surprise move no one saw coming. The Trump administration just retaliated against Russia and forced the closure of U.S. diplomatic locations and required Russia to close several posts in American cities. The State Department warned of a downward spiral in relations and announced today that, the, that Russia would need to close down its consulate general in San Francisco and its chancery annex in Washington, D.C., and the consular annex in uh, New York City, according to Fox News. These closures will need to be accomplished by September 2nd, said State Department spokeswoman Heather Noor. This decision was implemented after Russian President Vladimir Putin kicked out 700 U.S. diplomats. After Trump signed Russian sanctions into law, here is what Rex Tillerson said below about the sanctions. The Russians' order uh, was called unwarranted and in the spirit of parity invoked by the Russians. With this action, both countries will remain with three consulates each, while there will continue to be a disparity in the number of diplomatic and consular annexes we have chosen to allow the Russian government to maintain some of its annexes in an effort to arrest the downward spiral in our relationship. Noart said that she hopes we can avoid further retaliatory actions by both sides and move forward to achieve the stated goal of both of our presidents, improved relations between our two countries and increased cooperation on areas of mutual concern. Do you think we should have done this to Russia? Are we going down a pathway to war? Share this if you are mad that the media has forced Russia and the U.S. on a path to war. You know, the media, they are the enemy of the American people. Actually, yes, they are. And, you know, yes, it does sadden me. Let's take a quick listen at Rex, which I don't know. And all, and uh, the action by the by the uh, Congress to put these sanctions in place and the way they did, uh, neither the president nor I are very happy about that. Uh, we were, so it's bad news, in other words. We're clear that we didn't think it was going to be helpful to our efforts, but that's the decision they made. They made it in a very overwhelming way. I think the president accepts that, uh, is, and all indications are he will sign that that bill, and then we'll just work with it, you know, and that's kind of my view is we'll work with it, we got it, uh, we can't let it take us off track of trying to restore the relationship. Talk about the Chinese relationship goes beyond this. The president on Twitter has been very critical. Now in terms of their response to that action, I think it's important to recognize that any leader of any country has, has their whole population watching them as well, and President Putin has his population of Russia watching him. And so I think the fact that they felt the need to take uh, symmetrical action, and that's the way they view it, is that they were delayed in taking this action. came back from the Gulf. You had a very uh, telling uh, and frank conversation with uh, our colleague. Now, with respect to my relationship with the president, it's good. The president has repeatedly expressed his confidence in me. Uh, we have a good relationship. I talk to him just about every day. I see him several times a week. He calls me. Late at night on the weekends when something comes into his head and he wants to talk, uh, he may call me at any moment, at any time, but it is a very open relationship and it's one in which I feel quite comfortable telling him my views. Uh, and he and I have differences of views on things like JCPOA and how we should use it. Uh, we have differences, of, but I think if we're not having those differences, I'm not sure I'm serving him. Uh, and so that's, I would tell you the relationship between the president and myself is good. That's how I view it anyway. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, it's Congress putting this into action, you know, so, you know, that's bad news in that sense. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.